Hello and welcome to another episode of Kerbal Space Program with Matthias Weiss. And yeah, today I want to launch the last module of phase one for my uh, space station. I have in a 200 kilometer orbit around Kerbin. I want to launch another uh, of these solar panel modules. And what I want to do also is to get rid of this small uh, spacecraft currently docked to the habitation module and rearrange our lifeboat and dock it up here at the spot which is currently taken by the small one. Okay, I have the solar module ready at the launch pad. Take some time to load it. Yeah. And even though uh, it will be uh, will take a little time. Oh yeah, physics engine kicked in. <laughs> take some time and the frame rate with so many modules is pretty low on my notebook computer I have here. I will try to make it a full oh yeah we are perfectly timed four seconds until launch there we go yeah the main uh, parts of this module are we have in the middle our solar panel and directly underneath a little bit hard to see right now is our launch vehicle and of course a lot of uh, stock boosters. Uh, the boosting stages are mainly stock. I say mainly because I use some parts of the Nova punch pack as for example the heavy struts to keep everything together and stable. Otherwise it's yeah a little messy or I need so many struts and yeah it just does not feel right. Okay, we have a launch phase. stages to burn out. Yep, there it goes. Uh, that's <laughs> dropping our speed a little bit down, but I've done that before. We know that it works, and this time I will prove you that it works. So this might be a little bit boring for some of you because they how often have you seen stuff launching from the Kelvin Space Center? Probably too often. But for those who are interested, just enjoy. As always, this will be a live recording. It's every mistake I make, live and in color. But I reserve the right to uh, probably, for the docking approach part, to skip some, some steps ahead. And, but I don't know yet. Yeah, this is recorded live. Maybe I will make a quick save and stop recording for some time later. But I will announce it. Okay, starting our gravity turn. I'm curious. Oh, there's the moon. Sun. fuel here in this booster. You could build this a lot more fuel efficient of course, but yeah. This is a working design and as money doesn't matter at the moment. I just stick to my 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 typical five minute crap designs and invest my time in building Nice looking modules, which I use in space. You can still see the Kerbal Space Center down here. Our app waps is up to around 40 kilometers. Still have a little bit fuel in the second stage. 
of course, a lot of you in this last boosting stage. Okay, just about to detach the next stage. There it goes. Is, is up to almost 70 kilometers, but yeah, we need an orbit altitude of 200 kilometers, so it will take some time. Just shut off the auto warp because before we start warping, I want to get rid of these the rockets because I don't want to have too much trash here up in space. One red 50, 60, 70, 80 and there we are. Coasting to apoapsis. Getting rid. Disengaging. Just carefully move out of this debris. And switching next jet on again. Now we can time accelerate. And we are at 200 kilometers. And hey, there's our space station. Yeah, right now. Everything is dismantled and... Oh no, this is uh, not our space station. This is uh, the debris of our rocket. Let's see, can we see? Oh, there it is! Perfect. Only two kilometers away from us, so time to circularize our orbit and yeah seems to work out just perfect wow we made it we are within two kilometers so there's the KSS one everything is just uh, pretty much uh, apart from each other so what I have to do right now is uh, our quick save here and switch over to our station. There it is. So everything gets back connected. And yeah, that's a problem. Uh, okay. What I have to do now is reload because this won't work. So we don't have any other possibility than to wait until they snap together. On their own. Just get rid of our <coughs> relative velocity mm, short burn should be enough be careful here steering arrow is still low enough and yeah that's it and now let's just target directly. Yeah, with the current version of the mod, time warping always will lead to ships detaching. But they will snap back together since when we are near enough. It's a little bit sad that there's no better solution at the moment, but at least, hey, 
we have docking and it works. So what I want to do now is getting closer <coughs> to our desired target. I have the RCS, so this is a little bit RCS fuel to Just burning directly to our station. Still not the most efficient way to do it. And yeah, I probably should watch some tutorials to get it a little bit better. But hey, at least I get it to work somehow. And this is only the first attempt because we'll probably snap together and change position once I'm near enough. So I really I don't have to care about how close and how good my actual course is right now. Eight hundred meters, seven hundred. Slow down a little bit. We don't want to overshoot too far. Hopefully, there will be a solution to this problem soon. Because hey, right now this looks just looks like some piece of junk and not not a space station. And let's. Target up again. Okay, we need to face this one. Once we are in 200 meters, it should work. Oh, yeah, there it is. No, we overshoot, of course. Only 150 meters away, so let's use some RCS fuel to turn around, otherwise we shoot away too fast. Uh, this is the one moment that really sucks, in my opinion. But okay, back on target. At least <laughs> this was a proof that things will snap together again after 
separating during warp. Don't know. It would should be would be very nice if there was a possibility to just uh, save docked parts as one and making them stay together properly. Let's be a little bit more careful this time. Thing is, I can use warping for uh, approaching the station, so you have to be patient a little bit. Because warping just means that things will jump away again. And I don't know why, but I always end up in doing these maneuvers in absolute night time. Which pretty much sucks. Close. Okay. Now let's start with the actual docking procedure. part where I want to dock is uh, over here. Break a little bit. back into position. It's not that easy. It's such a big part.
which makes it even harder is <laughs> this whole thing is rotating. Still have enough fuel here to make it work. it around little bit unpredictable so let's go for target mode again and I think I have to work on my relative velocity. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is not going ver going very well right now. This is really not going well. Don't believe you saw <laughs> such bad docking maneuver ever. The point is, I really have. Uh, problem that I'm slowly running out of RCS fuel here. Actually, not looking too bad. I hope you know what I want to do here, but yeah, it's having kind of problems today. I don't know why.
Okay, now I try a direct burn. See how that works. bit more that way come on that's the wrong docking spot backwards Relax now. No panicking. Pretty close. And actually I'm coming in from the right side. And finally, we finally made it. What we want to do now is give it the right orientation. We only have to wait till it connects correctly. See if we can help a little. Promising a little bit back. Oh, this is a pain to get it aligned correctly for docking. But I'm pretty sure that I've made it this time. And we have a full dock. Not 100% in the same plane, but we can do 
just undock. Try again. Oh, come on. obviously is too hard. Okay. We are docked. Take this one. Try to kill the rotation. Should have done that before. Take some time, but Finally, possible it makes this whole thing a lot stapler. Then we take our last try and bringing this thing into an even nicer position because yeah right now I don't don't really like it it's a little bit off center I don't I hate off center anyways so this is a part for another episode so I think we can stop right here oh Actually, no. Nope. Let's try it again. Okay, now we have it like we want it. 
So what we have to do now is decouple this one. Bring it away. And we have completed phase one of our Kerbal Space Station. What we can do now is just turn it away. Face it this way. Power up the engine. And just deorbit. So, for all of you guys, thank you for your patience, and I hope you enjoyed what you saw. This one will just uh, crash into ocean. It has no crew on board, just these control module and mechanical jab. Just checking. Yep, we are on a re-entry course. So, cut the engine. And let's just take a last look at what we have put into space during the last missions. <laughs> there it is. Isn't it a beauty? This actually really looks like a space station. Has solar panels, a fuel module, and yeah. I wanted to do dock this one over there, but I will do that in the next video and get rid of the second small ship too. And yeah, anyways, thank you for watching this video. My name is Matthias Weiss. Have fun, guys.